powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Manoeira, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's Word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. Faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Owen. Welcome to this life-changing broadcast and today I'll be sharing on who you are. You know, a lot of people go through an identity crisis. An identity crisis is one of the reasons why most people cannot deploy their potential and experience greater possibilities because they have these issues that are going on internally. And they consider themselves to be nobody is in the perspective you have about who you are has a lot to do with your life with your dream with your future if i see myself as nobody i cannot truly achieve all that god wants me to experience knowing who you are and knowing your words will determine how you release your potential, how you approach life, how you respond to the activities around you. The beauty of living is living from a perspective of who you are in Christ Jesus. I said the beauty of living is living from the perspective of who you are in Christ Jesus. It's in the knowledge of who you are should consume your way of thinking. Let our way of thinking emanate from the true picture of who we are in Christ Jesus. You know, a lot of people think they are what their parents said to them. Maybe their parents said to them, you are good for nothing. Maybe what their ex said to them, you are good for nothing. Maybe someone look at them and tell them, you are a failure. You can never amount to anything in life. You know, we could hear those kind of words when people say things like that. If you're not careful, you can begin to believe who you are not. You can start believing who you are not. A lot of people believe in who they are not. They allow situation. They allow what people think about them. They allow people's opinion to define them. The worst place to be in life is when you accept an opinion that is not consistent with your true personality in Christ Jesus. When you accept an opinion of who you are, which is not consistent with the person of the Christ in you. You know, so many people have accepted defeat because of every step they took was a step of failure and frustration. But that is not what God's word teach. Knowing who we are begins in our relationship with God. You see, God created you for a purpose. God created you for an effective life. He created you to be a blessing to your world. Maybe in the natural right now, it looks like every situation is against you. All the attempts you have made to get things right, they keep failing. And you look at your life and ask yourself this question, how long will I go through this abuse? How long will I go through this rejection, this humiliation? How long will I go through this pain and this struggle? Listen to this. If you allow people to validate you or to give you an approval for who you are, most times you're not going to get it. You get the approval by looking at the grace of God. Grace is God's approval. It means that God has approved you for a better life. So it doesn't matter what is happening right now. In the grace of God, you have a bright future. 
You have a great destiny. It doesn't matter how many mistakes you have made with your life. It doesn't matter how many times you fell into sin and you are struggling with ungodliness, with unrighteousness. You're struggling with so many things. God has a perfect picture for your future. He has a perfect picture. And Connecting with God's picture begins with connecting with His Word. The, the Word of God is God's picture for you. I said the Word of God is God's picture for you. And His Word said He who has begun a good thing in you. He has started something good in you. I'd like us to look at that scripture in Philippians 1 verse 6. We're going to look at that scripture in Philippians 1 verse 6. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Philippians 1, verse 6, and look at what it said here in Philippians 1, verse 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said something very beautiful. He said in Philippians 1, verse 6, he said, He said, Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you, you know, this work is in you. God has started doing something in you. Who has begun a good work in you? And he said, will perform it, it will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He has started a good work in your life, in your dream, in your vision, in your assignment. He's going to perform it. You see, God is faithful in keeping his word. And God does not want you to get the, the picture of your identity from your job or from your relationship with your friends. He wants you to get the picture of your identity from his word. He, he wants his word to define you. He doesn't want you to be defined by who you are, your skin, or your education. Because if you allow your education to define you, there are people that have better qualification than you. If you allow who you get married to define you, there are people who have more great relationship. If you allow the car you drive to define you, there are people who are driving 2017, you know, 2017, they are willing to also drive the next car that is coming for 2018, 2019. So we're not going to allow all of those things to define us. What defines us is who we are in Christ Jesus. He said we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Let our definition of who we are emanate from the revelation of the finished work of Jesus. This is the kind of perspective that strengthens you, empowers you, and inspires you to move in the direction of the will of God. Your life is greater than where you are right now. You know, a lot of people are saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm facing rejection. Let me say this to you. Responding to rejection is a choice. I want to say it again. I said, responding to rejection is a choice. Someone can decide to reject you, despise you, they don't want to relate with you. But so, and so what? That doesn't mean that that is the end of your life. So you don't respond to rejection. You respond to purpose. You, you respond to the purpose of God for your life. Always magnify God's purpose for your life above every human opinion about you, about your skin, about your country, about your nation, about your, your personality, about your profession, or about your career. Always magnify the purpose of God for your life above anything someone can think about you because we have a lot of factors in the natural that wants to place limitation on our possibility, that want to place limit on us. We cannot do this, we cannot have this, we cannot go there, but we are who God said we are. Who you are is in the heart of the Father. And part of it is when he gave that revelation that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are partakers of the divine nature. We are who God said we are. He said, greater is he that is in you than what is in the world. So when you look at your life from the perspective of who you are in Christ Jesus, that is the key to effective living. That is the key to having a productive future, a productive dream, a productive possibilities. And God is saying here to us, refuse to bow to the circumstances around you. 
Refuse to bow to how you feel. Refuse to allow your feeling to distract you from your calling. Refuse to allow uh, what people think about you to distract you from what God has said about you. Refuse to allow the, the situations that surround you to define your destination. Your life is bigger than where you are. Your life is bigger than what people think or say about you. God wants you to see yourself in the light of who you are in Christ Jesus. You are big than this listen to this never quit on your life never give up on your purpose never give up on yourself you are more than what you think you are we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus we are the partakers of the divine nature the life of the father is in us so when we walk in the true revelation of who we are it helps us in the use of our authority it helps us in utilizing our purpose it helps us in deploying our potential and it also helps us to experience greater possibilities in our calling or in our assignment so when we walk in the knowledge of who we are we are not going to abandon our life to chance we are not going to abandon our life to people who told us you are going nowhere you're not going to make it in life i've always proven them wrong all the time when people look at you and say you're nobody you're going nowhere i always see my life from the context of god's purpose i always see my life from the revelation of who i am in christ so an individual's opinion about me has nothing to do with my potential because my potential was based on purpose my potential was based on the knowledge of who i am in christ when you have this kind of mentality you don't beg for relationship you don't beg people to relate with you you know great people choose their friends their friends don't choose them great people choose their friends and if you're a great person and you have a great vision you decide who becomes your friend you decide who comes into your world you decide who you want to allow to work with you to relate with you i'm here to say to you who you are in christ jesus is the foundation for effective living is the foundation for fruitful living if you want to live a fruitful life it comes from that knowledge so god doesn't want you to quit on your dream to quit on your destiny to quit on your purpose he wants you to stay committed to destiny to stay committed to your assignment there is more to you than what life is saying to you right now maybe you're looking at yourself and said where do i go from here where do i go from here you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus you can make progress because you have the holy spirit in you the presence of the Spirit of God energizes us to carry out our purpose, to, to do our, our assignment. The presence of the Spirit of God in us, you are bigger than this. You are greater than this. So no matter what is happening to you right now, you can break forth. You can go forth and you can take the lead. You are who God said you are. In fact, John 4, verse 4, he said something. He said, greater is he. I like that part of it. Although he began with saying, ye are of God, little children. And he went forward to establish and said, greater is he that is in you than what is in the world. If the greater one dwells in you, there is no limit to what you can do. I'm here to say to you, focus on who God said you are. Focus on your potential. Focus on your purpose. Refuse to allow situations to define your possibility. See the greatness in you. Pursue your dreams passionately. Don't quit on your life because of how you feel. Don't quit on your life because you've made mistakes every time. Every one of us have made mistakes. There is nobody living on the face of the earth today that have not made a mistake. But great people and not people who have not made mistakes, but they are people who don't allow mistakes to define their greatness. They don't allow mistakes to play limit on their pursuit. They don't allow mistakes to distract them from reaching their full potential. They don't allow mistakes to distract them from becoming who God has called them to be. When you function from the perspective of his will, you will have some of it beyond every limitation. You are watching this broadcast today. It's time to hold yourself. It's time to look at yourself and say, I hug myself, I celebrate myself, I love myself, I'm going to open the door for myself, I'm going to go great places with myself, I love myself, I refuse to be conquered by hatred of others, I refuse to be conquered by malicious words that others spoke against me, I refuse to bow to every limitation that wants to distract me from my purpose, I'm going to focus on my destiny, I'm going to take the lead, I'm going to refuse.
refuse to bow to any form of disappointment. I'm waking up to greatness. I'm waking up to pursue those dreams that God has put in my heart. I'm not going to stop pursuing my destiny. I'm not going to stop doing what God has called me to do because there is greatness in me. Awaken the giant within you. There is a giant in you. There is strength in you. There is possibility. Your life is full of greatness. Thank you, Father. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray the prayer with me, it means God loves you and you will not remain the same. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel on this Fix my teaching on YouTube when you subscribe and put you to watch series of videos that will change you, that will empower you to take the lead in the direction of God's will. Also, I'm encouraging you to keep watching Finish Work TV. That's come is a ministry on the cutting edge that is helping many people around the world to receive the engrafted word of God. And today we're encouraging you to consider partnering with this ministry because true partnership will continue to multiply the broadcast and will keep reaching people in different parts of the world every day with God's word. Thank you for partnering with us. You can do it by praying for us and by partnering with this ministry on PayPal is Faithman Teaching at Gmail that come is faithman teaching at gmail that come thank you for watching this broadcast until I come your way soon. Don't ever forget this there is greatness in you.